Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hope you are having as fantastic of a week as I am. Uh, once again, feeling very, very full today after such a fun, fun day yesterday. Saw so many wonderful friends and, of course, saw the fabulous YouTube Joshua Tree for the fifth time last night. <laughs> um... My topic tonight for you guys, of course, because I've been thinking about it, is what's your passion, right? Um, so, of course, my computer just said I need to plug it in. <laughs> Hold on one second. Um, live and in person, people. Um, so, as it's probably obvious, is my passion is music, my friends, my family, and helping people. I would say those are, you know, my top four. Uh, with music being right up there. And a friend and I were texting today, and she was saying, you know, I really don't know who I would be if I weren't the avid music lover that I am. And I thought, you know what, Lisa, you're so right. So Lisa, if you're watching, thank you. It was such an interesting thing that, of course, I know is inherently true about me as well. Um, the thing I love so much about seeing live music is that energy exchange that happens between the performers and the crowd. And it's when a band is in the zone and, you know, they're having a great time and they feel the crowd giving their all and people are so into it. I mean, last night it was just electric, right? It's so awesome. It's addicting. Um, but the other thing I really love about it is, I love seeing people do what they do well. It's just beautiful, right? When you see somebody, whether it's somebody being a lawyer, somebody being a doctor, um, somebody doing public speaking, like whatever it is, when you see somebody who's so good at that and they're so passionate about it, to see them do it, it's gorgeous, right? And so that's the other aspect of it. When you see a band like you too, they're amazing. Like. They've been doing this, you know, they always say it takes 10,000 hours of doing something to become really good at it. Like, can you imagine, like, last night was two hours, how many years they've been doing Joshua Tree for 30 freaking years, <laughs> how many hours they've been on stage practicing to make that show as awesome as it was last night? Um, you know, so what are you guys passionate about? I'm, like, always curious to see, like, what drives somebody, because... You know, obviously my thing is music and like when I meet people like, you know, obviously not everybody is a music fan. I can fully accept that. <laughs> I might think music should be your number one passion, but, <laughs> um, you know, I love hearing other people talking about their passion and when they get that twinkle in their eye about, you know, what that is. Um, it's really exciting, right? And you see somebody's face light up. Like, I feel like my face just lit up <laughs> when I was talking about that. Like you almost be, like you, there's a part of you that comes out that people don't get to see when you're talking about your passion, right? And so that's really where I love working with people and talking to people. That's like one of my favorite things to do is talking to people about that, right? Because um, it really on the phone, whatever it is. Um, you know, hey, Alyssa, how are you? Um, you know, and, and anytime you want to come see a show, you know where I am. <laughs> and if I'm traveling, I'm always looking to see who's playing. So like in Denver, for those of you, Alyssa and company, uh, the Abbott brothers are playing at Red Rocks, which is like my church on Friday night. So I think I'm going to go hit Red Rocks on Friday night to go see the Abbott brothers. Um, so would love to catch a show with you. Would love to talk to you about your passion and experience your passion as well. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and um, look forward to having those conversations. See ya.